What is going on guys? Grave here. Yesterday we got a preview of update 32, kind of some info about what's going to go on within this update and these are going to be some massive changes. These are really game changing things that's going to really affect the way everyone plays, affect kind of RNG, affect sets, kind of affect builds. There's a lot of stuff going on within this update. So let's go ahead and hop right into the info. The first thing they discussed was proc sets, still not working as intended and that's really on the PVP side. Uh, but also on the PVE side, it's kind of what they got into here in just a little bit. But they're still working on getting those proc sets to work correctly in PVP. Uh, they're going to make changes to these sets so they cannot really stack. And I'm assuming they're mainly doing that for PVP. So you're not getting tons of burst damage on the PVP side. Uh, they're going to have a crit chance hard cap now. It's going to be a hard cap to pretty much to crit damage and crit healing. Uh, that's kind of how everyone everyone builds their builds right now is just based off that crit. You know, you couldn't get crit damage as much as you used to could, uh, you know, could have. And now they're going really more with crit chance builds. So they're going to put a cap on that. No word what that cap's going to be just yet. I'm assuming at least, I would think at least 40 or 50% is probably what they'll cap it at. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, a significant adjustment to proc sets that scale with your weapon or spell damage, mag or stam. So you're, uh, you're, Proc sets will now once again crit strike. That was a thing a long time ago, and it's been so long. I mean, I've played the game for a really long time, as all of you know here on console, since it was released on console, and I couldn't even remember to tell you exactly when that was the last time that you could, that I could remember seeing uh, those uh, proc sets being able to crit strike again, and it's been that long. So that is something that's pretty big, that they're adding those uh, you know, proc sets back in there and they're once again going to be able to crit strike and plus they're going to scale off your weapon or spell damage or your mag or stam. So that's going to make some interesting builds when it comes to proc sets being back in PVE once again. Uh, it's going to be, you know, also your monster hounds. Uh, the last several updates, uh, really for the last several, what, year or two, uh, honestly, most people have been running more mythic items and less monster hounds because monster hounds just are not performing like the other uh, you know, uh, mythic sets in the game. They're not performing as well. So now a lot of these uh, monster helms will kind of be back, in my opinion, if they continue to go with some of these ways they're going to boost these stats and the way they're going to let these, uh, you know, if they do allow everything now to crit strike off some of these uh, proc sets and things of that nature. So it seems like the monster helms will be back unless they somehow manage not to put as much damage on them or something. I, we'll kind of have to wait and see. But Monster Helms, are, I think, definitely going to be something that's going to be very viable uh, to use once again. And also having proc sets and PVE is going to be something we haven't seen in a while either. Uh, hybrid stats on all sets. And you did hear me right. Every set in the game is going to be weapon and spell damage, spell and physical pen, uh, spell crit and weapon crit. So if there's one stat on uh, you know, a w certain set in the game is going to have the opposite, uh, you know, set or, you know, uh, stat as well on that particular set. So, for example, if there's something you have in game that just has weapon damage, it's also going to have spell damage now. If you have something that just has spell penetration, it's also going to have spell and physical penetration. So, you have a set that's just spell crit, it will now automatically have spell and weapon crit. So, they're really making it where everything in the game is going to be a hybrid set. Uh, it's very interesting that they're doing this uh that you know they've been kind of inching toward this more and more with every update over the last year or so i find it kind of odd that they're doing it just for one reason just for personal opinion uh it, it makes all the bills really kind of just go together it doesn't really feel like there's a magic build or a stamina build anymore there's not a lot of you know distinction between them now that you have magic and stamina kind of all together you know our magic or stamina abilities kind of all together on each set of gear so it, it's kind of just it loses the class identity almost in my opinion at, at times when they do this but i know a lot of people out there like hybrid builds so I, fans of hybrid builds are really going to be happy to hear this and i think it's very interesting that they're talking about adding hybrid stats to every single set there's available so that's that's kind of interesting you know it, they're including drop sets you know even sets that you can craft so we'll kind of have to wait and see how that works out but it makes it seem like in my opinion, that it's going to lose a lot of class identity down the road because everything's just going to be, it's going to be kind of hard, like I said, to distinguish between a magic and stamina build anymore. Another thing that was kind of interesting, in my opinion, that they're doing with this update is sky shards will now show on your map automatically when you're close to them without any add-ons whatsoever. 
I know PC, of course, is used to add-ons where they can find the sky shards and that kind of thing, but I think this will be a big help for people on the console side. The, another big thing that's coming out uh, with this, and I think a lot of you are going to be happy to hear this, is there going to be an armory station, which you will be able to save your builds or slash or loadouts, however you want to you know, kind of go with that, or however, whatever you want to call them. But you will actually have the option to save builds within the game automatically, once again, without any add-ons like you would if you were playing on PC. So even on the console side, we'll finally be able to save our loadouts in-game. They showed an example, and it showed two loadouts there. I'm assuming this is going to be something that's sold in the crown store, kind of like character slots. So if you want more loadout slots or same kind of concept as, you know, your, you know, your outfit slots, you probably have to buy more, which I'm not really a big fan of because they're kind of pushing monetization there uh, in a way that they know they're going to sell a lot of uh, those slots because people are going to want all the different builds for their PVE and PVP stuff. And probably two is not going to cut it for most people. So in my opinion, it's, a great thing but at the same time they're i'm sure they're gonna be pushing you know selling those slots in the crown store but i know a lot of people are really going to be happy to hear that loadout slots will be in the game automatically and last but not least uh one thing they're doing that i'm kind of I, I like the idea of but i'm kind of torn on it as well is drops based on your set completion so it's going to be smart rng so there's no more going into a dungeon and playing it 12 times in a row and getting stuff you've already have in your collections it's supposed to actually drop things that you don't have in your collection so for me for example i've never got a medusa uh staff since the you know the sticker book has been added in uh the inferno staff and that's the only thing i have left in that comp uh, set collection so according to how this is supposed to work when i go in there and play that it's supposed to give me things i do not have so i should get that medusa staff very quickly now i'm not sure how smart this rng system is going to be because i'm not sure how it's going to work after you have everything already in that collection completed i'm assuming this is going to drop like normal this is going to be random drops i'm not sure they didn't really go into that much detail but i'm sure a lot of people are going to be happy because you know if you hadn't had the uh, chance to get a maelstrom staff or bow or whatever the case may be you're now going to have a better chance of being able to get loot but at the same time even though i'm not a big fan of how rng works i'm wondering if this will affect you know how much people play because a lot of people like to grind out the game and you know go in and try to grind things it's always you always, what you always hear from the comment from a lot of uh, players in the community say you know we like to grind out the game we like to play and, and just grind things out and that's kind of the whole point point of mmo rpg that kind of thing and i think a lot of them uh are not going to be happy with this because now you're pretty much automatically going to be guaranteed to get this stuff pretty quickly and that's going to get rid of the grind for a lot of people there's going to be really no grind to the game anymore because if you've played for a really long time and you have pretty much everything in the game in your sticker book there's only going to be a couple pieces you're looking for. And then after that point, it's going to kind of be pointless to grind anything out within these dungeons or, or trials, or whatever the case may be. So leave me, leave me a comment with your thoughts on that as well. I think it's going to be a really good thing, but at the same time, I think some people can see it as not a great thing for them personally if you're a fan of just grinding out stuff in the game in general. Anyway, guys, let me comment with you and let me know what you think about Update 32. I think it's going to be something that's a big change for the elder scrolls online in general it's going to change the way the game is played pretty much by everyone on all platforms because it's adding so much stuff here uh changing with hybrid sets adding the armory in uh you know those drops based on rng a lot of this is, is really big changes stuff that's been talked about in the community for years i think a lot of people are going to be happy that it's coming to the game but at the same time i think some people are not going to be so happy with some of these changes anyway leave me your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates and i'll catch you all next time peace